So I'm going to try to have a quick look uh, at GruntJS here. Um, GruntJS is a is a big part of uh, what Yeoman uses under the hood, along with Bower, and we'll try to look at this probably over the series of a few videos. But if we just type uh, Grunt by itself, this is fatal because um, there's no Grunt file. I'm in an empty directory. But if we type Grunt init, we also get an error, but we get some more useful information. And basically, the way the uh, init works, um, init is a task, um, it will go ahead and take a template as an argument, basically, and create either a common JS project, a grunt file, a grunt plugin, a jQuery plugin, or a node module. Without getting into too much what those things are, let's just create a grunt file. Basically templates for, for a project, right? So we're going to go with the grunt file, and we're going to say this is a DOM, and DOM project. Um, we do want to concatenate and minify. Uh, we're not going to specify a package JSON file. So if we open, so if we look at this this directory, we now just have a grunt file. So let's open that up, and we see uh, all these capitalized underscore guys are things that if you had specified a package JSON, they would have been mapped um, from your package JSON. But since we didn't, we have to go in here and and specify these manually. So let's do that real quickly. This is my name. And then the file name. You'll see file name comes in a couple of places. Um, so let's just replace file name. This is just a Vim way of doing this, but let's say my... Well, we're looking at the lib, so we'll just say lib.js. So, so the, the file name will turn into lib. All right, so now let's look at these. Um, this file real quickly. So this all maps to config within this file. So in fact, if you see here, this references config. That's represent that represents everything that's in that that outer um, and it config, which pretty much most of the file. So again, config colon concat is saying take the config object and then go to the concat task and the dist and dest subtasks. So that's going to go here, config concat, dist, and then dest. OK, so if we back up a second before we try to figure this all out. This concat guy, this is a task, and this dist is a target. Okay, and what this is, and then there's a source and a destination, and this is an idiom in Grunt where you have uh, source sources and destination file mappings. So basically, this concat, as you would imagine, is going to try to concatenate any files in the source directory and um, build a concatenated file here to the destination directory. And then you have a, minim a minification uh, task, min, and it basically over here is going to take the results of that concatenation because it's referencing the config uh, concat dist dist you know, property path, which is this guy up here, right? And then it's going to build a minified. So first, uh, it concatenates the files and then it minifies them here. If you're used to build system like make or ant, you might think of this as a dependency. So let's do one thing here. <clears throat> let's um, add another file. So let's do a lib2. And I have another video I put about the unfortunate state with these file strip banners. Um, but let's just accept the fact that we've got two files here, and that's going to concatenate them. And then we'll minify them. So if we just run grunt uh, concat, that'll run just that task. Uh, so wait a second, I haven't created this directory or this file. 
lib.js and then lib lib2.js and then let's echo window alert hi from from lib.js and put that into lib lib.js and hi from lib lib2.js and put that into lib2.js. Okay, so now if we run grunt concat and we cat the resulting file here, as we see, built this file, okay. we'll see that both of our files were built. And if we run grunt min and cat the dist lib min, we'll see that in fact our files were concatenated. So in the next video we'll talk a little bit more about how this is working. Um, I'm going to try to break these up over several videos because Grunt does have a lot to it. So that's all for now.